Hey guys, welcome to this week's version of uh, Meals and Mortgages. Look at my big old belly. So, uh, <laughs> with the Meals and Mortgages sign. Um, we are here today doing a easy keto Korean ground beef bowl recipe. Uh, should be kind of fun. We're going to talk about a couple of things with uh, mortgages today. Uh, we're going to talk about the new URLA, um, which is the, the 1003 uh, loan application for the ones that don't mortgage know the slang. mortgage slang. Sorry, but um, yeah, so we're going to talk about that, some of the details behind it. Uh, we do have Hayden here today. Here's Hayden. Hi. <laughs> uh, she's going to help me out. When I, when I need somebody pretty to be in the film with me, that's who I call. But um, we're also going to talk for my realtor friends. We're going to introduce one last time for the win next Wednesday we've got on March 10th our uh, rehab re realtor rehab thing is going to be at the botanical gardens at 11 o'clock so on the 10th at 11 at jessica's the... <laughs> on <laughs> yes hey jessica how are you and john cunningham good to see you thanks for joining if y'all will please 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 share the video for us hey tommy tommy are you still in uh, boston or are you bouncing back and forth i don't know uh we'll be back in boston in three weeks so if you're there maybe i can catch you but, um, so, I'm going to pop this around real quick. Do you need this? No, I need okay. this. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, like I said, this is going to be our keto uh, ground beef bowl. Uh, I would like to tell y'all that I'm actually being good and sticking to keto all the time, but I'm not. So, um, oh my gosh. So, Jeremy Horne, um, yes, I have heard the good news about the new program. Stop sending me messages um, <laughs> if you're watching this. But, um, so it's really simple. It's going to take about 20 minutes to do. Uh, for the cauliflower rice, I've already done that. Um, I have it in my bowl. Basically, you just get a food processor if you want to make your own and make, like, grind it up really well. And it's pretty cool. So, um, and then I've got my beef. It's really simple to make this. We just need some um, green onion and then a cucumber. We've got all of our extra stuff here. Coconut aminos. Y'all, there's a big difference between coconut aminos and cocoa aminos. Um, I bought cocoa aminos while I was at the store and had to return it. So that was kind of cool. Um, we need... Maybe you for like a dessert, maybe? I probably should have kept it. I almost thought about it. I uh, needed some crushed red peppers, some ground ginger. And your cheater and garlic. Your, yeah, my cheater garlic. We almost bought some real garlic today, but I was like, no. <laughs> Salt and pepper. You're going to need your sesame oil and sesame seeds and then some beef broth. So let's jump into this. I'm going to pass this over. Oh, and of course, the one thing you definitely need all the time yeah, is wine. I'm not drinking wine tonight, you guys. I'm so sorry. You won't see the fun side of me. <laughs> so, um, so let's tell go me ahead. what you need me to do. Basically, just kind of keep me on track. Tonight. Okay. So, so, I'm going to put some olive oil into the pan. Uh, get that started on a high heat on the back one, not the front one. Mm -hmm. I turned it on the wrong one, turned it on. Uh, so we're going to get that heated up, and then um, you're going to add your cauliflower to that. And basically, you're kind of like sauteing the cauliflower in the uh, olive oil uh, with a little bit of salt and pepper. It's really simple. Like it. Love it. Do we add butter? Um, I guess you could if you wanted to. Well, um, it's like butter makes everything better. Butter. <laughs> Paula <Okay>, Dane. <laughs> Paula Dane. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I mean, I guess you could if you wanted the butter in your, um, do you want butter in your... Well, I can add it later. Rice? We can add it later. So, I mean, it works well. I don't want everyone to see how much butter I actually like in my rice. <laughs> but, y'all, I'm really not OCD, but, like, I don't like my hands to be dirty. So, I don't know. It's weird. All right. So, then while we're getting that warmed up and ready to go, we're going to look at the instructions for um, the beef. So, let's skip on down. Okay. So, it's getting a little warm. And y'all don't laugh at my bojank stuff over here with uh, just so we're gonna product. actually add this cauliflower rice first, okay. and then we're gonna saute for about three to five minutes. Um, right, and then while that's cooking, we're gonna take a small bowl, um, and we're gonna whisk together the coconut aminos. 
small bowl. So we're gonna cook it. It's gonna. This kind of seems like a one pan deal. Honestly, based off what I'm looking at. Yeah, it's pretty simple. Yeah, it seems like a one pan meal. Well, the the coconut. I mean, the I'm really anxious to smell this. Is separate, I do believe. Let's see. Well, the only reason I say that is it's turned heat back to medium high. I mean, I guess you could. I mean, I mean what's it gonna hurt? To keep... oh, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> okay. So while Richard is doing that, um, I just want to talk a little bit. I'll let you talk about the Realtor Rehab Program. Okay. I just want to smell this. What does it smell like? It doesn't really have a smell. Kind of soy sauces? We have COVID. Soy sauce, soy we, sauces. We, we have COVID, y'all. We, <laughs> Don't kidding, say kidding, that. Kidding. We do not have no COVID. No. <laughs> We're all immune. <laughs> okay, so I just wanted to talk a little bit about um, the new URLA or the residential um, unit. What is it? Um, Satan 3.4. Okay, we'll call it that also. Um, the new residential loan application. Um, it's a lot more in depth. Let me just go ahead and start it out with saying that. Uniform residential loan application. Uniform residential loan application. I forgot what the use stood for. Um, so really we're just asking a lot more in-depth questions. Um, so if you have bought a home in the past and you're looking to refinance or if you bought a home in the past and you're going to be purchasing a new one, um, just be prepared to answer a few more questions. Um, but the way that I'm looking at it, and I'm sure Richard's looked at it the same way along with all the other LOs or LOAs in the office, um, it's going to make for a lot cleaner submission. So when you come out of underwriting, typically you have a list of conditions. Um, and I feel like this is going to eliminate a lot of that. Yeah. For the most part, because it's asking more questions. Um, why are you looking at me funny, <laughs> Alan? And uh, we will say uniform residential headache crazy app. <laughs> <laughs> Uniform residential headache. Yes, absolutely. Um, but yeah, it's just a lot more in depth. As I stated, Satan 3.4. We are all struggling. I'm sure mortgage industry or mortgage companies across uh, the nation are having a little bit of a stressful time with it. I may or may not have cried today, but that's okay. That's okay. We're doing better now. We're here with Richie Poo. Um, but like for, uh, for instance, a question that we wouldn't have asked before that we're going to be asking now is if you have any uh, names that you might have went by that you don't normally disclose, like um, my maiden name is Dolby. So I would say that yes, credit might have been pulled under Dolby or some people spell my name with a Y instead of an I. So I might want to say uh, you can put H-A-Y-D-N instead of H-A-I-D-N. Things like that. Um, they're going to want to know a lot more about um, your unmarried. They don't really want to know why you're unmarried, but they want to know a little bit more information about that. Um, so I do want to touch on one thing about the name stuff too. Um, and this is. Here, let me start with this. What you're doing? Yeah, this can places. be, I guess, a scary subject for some people to talk about. But the other thing is, um, they also want to know if you went by a different name. <coughs> Such as uh, if you're tra if you're transgender, yes, um, you may have one name on your driver's license, but go by another name, or be willing, or be in the process of changing your name. So we're going to need to know those things, and it's not a bad thing to know because this is also going to go into the database for um, like when in the demographics database for when they're looking at who is getting these loans, who's getting turned down, um, who's getting approved. Um, to kind of keep that together for uh, research purposes. To make sure uh, to, that there's no discrimination. Yeah, to make sure there's no discrimination. So it's really a cool thing um, in the LGBTQIA front as well. So I did want to touch up that plus because we're premium. Um, <laughs> Actually, that smells like soy sauce. So, but uh, yeah, it's sweeter, a little sweeter. But I mean, I did want to throw that out there that that was also another reason why. So it's not it's to kind of help to keep from discrimination. We got a question. So the wheel said the app isn't that bad. It's the coding. Yeah. It's the what? Coding. The coding. The coding. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So that's the biggest issue that I personally. I know Richard's come into this, and I know that Will has also run into this problem. Um, when we and this is a lot. This doesn't really have to do with borrowers. This is more on like the lender side. Um, when we upload your file to our lender, where that's where we get your interest rates and where we can run to you, things like that. It's not necessarily transferring over as smoothly as we like, so that's definitely um, a learning curve for everyone involved. Um, but it, it's okay. We're working through it. Well, we found that some lenders are a lot more streamlined than others. 
Um, but like I said, we are working through it. And like I told one of my clients or one of my, uh, one of Aaron's clients the other day, um, we're going to muscle through it together. So with that in mind, if you have a current application with any of your uh, vendors uh, or with us, of course, your measuring um, if you have a, just be patient with us. We're all trying to learn this. What do you need? I need a teaspoon. Okay, that's a half. That's a tablespoon. But yeah, just kind of. Tablespoon. But yeah, like just kind of bear with us. We're in a learning process at the moment, so just be be uh, patient with your uh, lender at the moment, and as we struggle through this and learn for ourselves, um, it'll take us about probably a week to get everything 100% down pat. So, if that, I did like two applications today, and. Um, by the second one, I felt really good. So it's not taking the app that's an issue for me. It's just it's, uploading it's upload. it. <laughs> yeah, it's the upload part. And and like you said, that's that has to do with each individual company that your brokerage may be with. So so let's go. Cool. All right. So back to the rice. So this is come mm -hmm. zoom in on this real quick. This is going to be our cauliflower rice, as you can tell. It's I probably should have gone in and um, kind of touched it with um, touched it with a little paper towel to get some of the water out, but it's still good. Uh, it's going to be a little wetter than your normal rice. So, how's this cauliflower? Hey, Lee Cargo, uh, how are you? <laughs> Gotta have a little. All right, so I'm gonna brown this meat while she gets our sauce together, um, and. That's it actually good. looks pretty good. So what's going in there? Okay, so in our sauce, um, so far I have added in the coconut aminos. Aminos? Aminos. <laughs> um, we've done the beef broth, the sesame oil, ground ginger, and I'm adding in red pepper flakes. I would typically add more than that. I'm okay with that. Okay, are you good with that, Alan? Okay. definitely good with that. This is one fourth tablespoon, so what do you think, Ann? Eyeball it. And honestly, most of the time when I cook, I eyeball. Is that good? Yeah. Okay, we can add more. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to whisk that together. So whisk, please, sir. For Richard's um, Easter gift, the Easter Bunny's going to bring him some cooking utensils. <laughs> so expect an Easter basket. I've already decided for Christmas I'm asking for um, – uh, a food processor because I had to borrow my friend Dennis's. Thank you, Dennis, by the way. Um, my friend Dennis's uh, food processor today. So, and for everybody that's joining us now, thank you for joining us. If you do have a did moment, did you put salt in that? I did. Okay. If you do have a moment to share your the uh, live, please do so. I'd love to be able to talk to any of your friends about food, but also about homes. Um. Last week I did talk. Last week I did talk to everybody about um, the the uh, rates and the fact that they went up and down. Um, they're kind of still where Richard, they were. I just have to interrupt. Uh, this is one small cucumber. <laughs> one man's small cucumber is another man's. Okay. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> but um, so uh, but about <laughs> we we're are. not drinking that much. I promise y'all. But um. Do you have scissors? Yes. Yeah. It's going to make this way easier. But yeah, rates are still kind of where they were uh, last week. So I, I have seen like a, a couple of 2.625 interest rates uh, going in on, a, on a refinances on 30 years. Uh, I think we had one at about, what, 2.25 on a 15? Two point. Uh, we The lowest we can go down um, is going to be a 2.5. Um, but I mean... That's like how, something like a cookie cutter loan. Yeah. Um, less than eighty percent loan to value, uh, seven hundred and sixty plus credit score. But I mean, we can work with you to get you there. Right. If you're looking for a rate like that, and there are other options. Um, so, when you see those like rates, when you get those rate cards in the mail, or the, the um, advertisements in the mail from or on Facebook, or on I had Facebook. someone actually say that today. That says, 
rates today at 1.25% or 1.99%. Um, yes, we can do that. But what they're well. not disclaiming <laughs> is, and I actually said this, this is a personal friend of mine who was asking about, um, well, someone on Facebook said that you, or I saw an ad on Facebook that said I could get um, a 1.75. Yeah, sure, but I'm I'm telling you right now, you're gonna you're gonna pay a pretty penny for that in today's market. Right. So, um, like those, like when they talk about paying for points, that's when you're paying, buying down your buying rate. Buying down your rate, and that's how these people are getting that rate uh, rate amount. Yes, we got a question. Um, Alan say price at a two point three seven five ball today. Price at a what? Two point three seven five. Two point three seven five ball today. Oh, on a VA today. Yeah, VA. So, yeah. VA so is a Alan, different animal. So, Alan got that VA at uh, a 2.375. Congratulations on that one. That's that was awesome. A, that was a good one. Um, I'm going to cut a two of these. You didn't So, yeah, when, when he's talking about VA, uh, that's the Veterans uh, like veterans Affairs alone. Um, so, if you're a veteran uh, in you know, with the military, then, yeah. Give us a call. Uh, we can definitely check out your... Or if you're a surviving sa spouse. Yeah, I was going to say. If you are a surviving spouse of um, mm -hmm. a late veteran. And don't don't think that just... If, if you got discharged and it was a dishonorable discharge, you may still be eligible, eligible. for uh, benefits. So don't, don't discredit the fact that you might not be just because of your discharge type. So keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, the VA is a complete different animal uh, than FHA, USDA, and conventional. Okay, um, should I cut it more than that? Or? Yeah, you don't really care for them. Okay, well, I do. Alright, <laughs> so this is brown. Okay, so now that that's brown, we're going to make a well in the beef and mm -hmm. add minced garlic. Alright, so you notice, guys, it didn't say drain it. Or close the bottle. Because you want some of that fat. And I didn't get anything that's got like a crazy fat in it, too, so. Well, keto is, that's good. good. Alright, so we're going to take, I made a well. Well. And then we're going to add four cloves of garlic, which equals, I think it's a tablespoon for clove. Yep. Yep, that's right? Okay. Sounds well, then good. pull out your handy dandy tablespoon. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I love the smell of garlic. No, I have the teaspoon. Uh, tablespoon. Four? Hold on one second. Four cloves of garlic, yeah. Mm. Mm. I and we're already out of garlic. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> we're out of garlic today. <laughs> okay. So we did buy a different Cheater garlic. garlic. Well, no, we bought a different one. California. Because remember garlic. that garlic. Is this the California the Gold? It was tasting a little weird. Remember? All right. So I'm gonna mix this in. Oh yeah, it had like a lemony taste. All right. What else? Okay. Saute for about a minute until fragrant. We love that. We love the um. What's the word we use? Aroma. Oh, aromatics. Aromatics. All right. So that is. So that is good. Uh, and we're almost done, actually. And then yeah. we're going to. This is a super quick meal. Oh, yeah. We're going to pour the sauce after that's fragrant. Um, we're going to pour the sauce over the beef, bring to a simmer, reduce heat, and then simmer for another three or four minutes until the sauce is reduced and thickened. There won't be much liquid left. So we're just coating the meat. Okay. Um, we're going to divide the cauliflower among the plates. That's and it. There we are. So I'll cut, start cutting the cucumber, cucumber for the garnish. How do we want to cut the cucumber? Uh, in slices. And then, yeah. Because so, it's just going to kind of lay out. So we got another question. No, it's not a question. Look, come in. Aaron said, I think meals and mortgage needs to go mobile. Mobile. To mobile. mobile. To the back deck next time we oh. have a good weather. Yes. Well, uh, for the next couple of weeks, I'm gonna, I've got um, already booked. I got up. a new fire pit. You got a new fire pit? Yep. We cook s'mores. So we're going to put it on the back deck of the office? Yeah, we could. It's, <laughs> I could put it in the back of my home. So uh, join me next week as Connie McClendon uh, comes in and talks about uh, uh, credit repair. Um, so she's going to come in and talk about that next week. And then the following week, we're going to have Kevin. Um, from Allstate uh, joining us, and um, then is after that. Is that your that, Irish meal? Huh? Is that your Irish meal? Yeah, we're actually gonna, that'll be uh, thanks, uh, Thanksgiving. Holy cow. I do that. Uh, that'll be um, 
St. Patrick's Day weekend or week. So, and it's actually, I think that Wednesday is St. Patrick's Day. So we'll be doing, I love that. Like, like, yes. But, um, so he's going to be here. We're going to do probably uh, uh, like a St. Patrick's Day inspired meal. It'll most likely be, be uh, like corned beef and hash. So check us out on that one. Uh, but yeah, those are the next two. Then after that, I'm going to be in Boston. I may not be able to do um, the mills and mortgages on the third week uh, because I'm also having more or, like dental work done. So taking okay. care of me. We're gonna pour the <laughs> we're gonna pour the sauce because it's fragrant. Oh, yeah. I moved it over there so that way. Yo, I could eat. Like I like it with uh, like in vinegar. Mm. I know that's like a pickle, but just so. I'm gonna make some more of that to put it's on the cucumber. Just a sandwich with mayonnaise. Mm. Ew. Mayonnaise and cucumber. All right. So we're I'm gonna, gonna actually make a little bit more of that sauce. It wasn't hard. Okay. Well, I'll just put it over here just up. So we put it, uh, the sauce in. Um, let that kind of simmer. You gotta simmer it to reduce the liquid. Basically, thick. you're just making it thick, covering all the meat. Will you tell me if you want me to make more sauce? Because I know I, we're sauce people, so. I'm gonna turn off the uh, rice, the the faux rice. We have like a little quiet moment. I think we both get tired all at the same time. <laughs> uh, well, did we talk in blue? Did we talk enough about the realtor program? No, that's actually okay. while we're waiting on that to simmer down. What I was gonna talk about. So uh, Wednesday, March 10th at 11 o'clock. So 10 at 11. If you're a realtor. Um, and you would like to get a little bit more information on about how to market yourself in today's world, uh, please look at our Facebook page event um, or comment and I'll send it to you. Uh, that way you can reserve it. It's going to be at the Botanical Gardens, like I said, at 10 o'clock. Um, the more the merrier. We've already got it reserved for one room, but if we have to move it up to the bigger room to be able to accommodate people safely, we definitely will. Uh, but check us out. We'd love to talk with you, especially if you're a new realtor, old realtor in the world, and just kind of want to have an idea of what it means to market yourself in today's climate with um, all the you know, technology, uh, with COVID, all of that. Let us know. We'd be more than happy to talk to you about it. So, and it's a great opportunity for you to meet new realtors um, and for the realtors to meet you. So check us out, March 10th at 11 o'clock, Botanical Gardens. I'm eyeballing. And we are going to make a little bit of extra on the sauce. That way, I, mean, I think you could actually just pour that on top if you wanted to. Yeah, I want some on my cucumber. I don't, look at the hole yeah. in this thing. I don't like the hole. Well, take the thing I don't know, off. I just, I'm eyeballing. <laughs> the little slit. <laughs> <laughs> not related I promise but if you ask Edna Earl yeah mom's probably not on today because of church we got started too late mm -hmm. we miss you miss Edna yeah miss Edna so my mama is, is Edna Earl Van Burr. <laughs> she's got the craziest name in the world so find her on Facebook and tell her hey yeah Erin say hey y'all hey y'all hey. I'll see you in a little bit <laughs> Wish you could have made it tonight, but give Maggie Moo a big of a hug for us. So this is almost ready. It's about the time you get that ready, we can start plating up. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a plate to make our... Okay, so next time we're going to make a lot more cauliflower. This shrinks down. It does a lot. We're going to spread that down. I'll make this pretty at least. Alright, so I'm going to take. Okay, there we go. This slider. I got more, more beef than anything. Oh, that sauce is good. 
Did you have a question? No, Aaron said, what are we discussing tonight? Huh? Aaron, Aaron said, what are we discussing tonight? What are we discussing tonight? Mm -hmm. Aaron, tonight we talked about the new... Um, 1003. The Realtor Rehab. Realtor Rehab. <laughs> like that, like so. Why did we have to have a beach for? That went in sauce. Oh. I was like, you didn't tell me to do that. No, I did it. I went myself. So, and these are um, not just regular. Uh, They're roasted. Sesame seeds are kind of toasted. Roasted All right. That looks delicious. So this is going to be our meal for tonight. That's just pretty. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. So, that's our show for the night. If you come here, hi. <laughs> uh, that's going to be our show for tonight. Um, please join us again, like I said, next week as we talk about credit repair. Um, you know. Aaron asked about Realtor Rehab. That's what the that's what the the, the Realtor program is. We're mm -hmm. calling it the Realtor Rehab program. Yeah, the Realtor Rehab program is on March 10th. That's where we're meeting with uh, oh, the right. realtors and the loan officers are getting together talking about how we can market ourselves and things like that in this new climate. Um, but yeah, so next week we're going to be meeting with Connie McClendon uh, talking about uh, credit repair. And then after that, the following week after that, it's going to be St. Patrick's Day. And then you'll be in Boston. And then I'll be in Boston after that. So St. Patrick's Day weekend, we're going to be talking to Kevin from Allstate. Uh, if you need a quote with Allstate, give him, give him a call. Reach out to me. I'll be more than happy to give you his information. All right, till next week, we love you, and I'm going to love this too. Bye. <laughs>